So, I am recording. So what we're going to be looking at, it does say here, this is one of the questions from the book, and it says, use algebra to justify the results in the following proofs. Show you're working. Call the original number that is chosen N. Why N? Number. Could it be an X? Yeah. Yeah, I think you know. Okay. So what we're going to do, you've just been looking at how algebra and word statements match together. They mean the same thing, right? So we're going to process things and, and we're going to use your skills of simplifying to show the result. So these are the kind of tricks that people put on Facebook or Instagram or people that, like, people use to impress people with their maths. I know what number you're thinking of type of trick. Oh yeah, I know that. See no? This one says, think of a number, subtract three, then multiply that result by four, add 32, then divide that result by four, Finally, take away your original number, and I bet I know what answer, because, what you're at. Yeah, because we divided, so... Well, yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to show why it doesn't matter what number you pick, your answer is always going to be... Five. Five. Always. And we can show it algebraic, not just accept that's what's going to happen. So this is actually quite an important skill, right? So let's have a look at how we can do that. We'll do the first one together and then see if we can carry on. This is going to be relatively tricky because there's a lot to it. Right? You ready to write stuff down? We'll work with you. So it does say, think of a number, M. So I'm going to start by writing M. Okay? Then it says, subtract. Three. How do I do subtract three from n? N subtract three. So I'm going to write down n subtract three. So I've done that bit. I've done that bit. Multiply that result by four. How do I write multiply that by four? And it's not times four on the end. But next moment, so. No brackets? Problem? Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. This, this is the result of n minus 1, and I'm now going to say I want all of that multiplied by 4. Yeah? Does that make sense? So I've done the multiply the result by 4. Then I've got to add 32. So I'm just going to write plus 32. Done that. Then divide that result by 4. How do I do that? How do I write divide that result by 4? Good chance, thank you. We're actually, we could use brackets and a division, but a better way of doing it is to say, if I put a line under everything, that's like putting brackets around everything. So instead of doing this, divide by 4, we don't do that. We use better notation and we, we do a line and divide by 4. Okay? So that's the divide by 4. And then it says, finally, take away the original number. So I'm going to subtract N. N. Now we think... The answer will always be five. Yeah? So if I picked a value, we should get the answer five. Should we just check? So let's do n equals nine. Okay, you need to work it all out then. Let's do it. It's going to be four times nine minus three plus thirty-two divided by four, then minus nine. Hopefully, we'll get the answer by. Can you work it out? So let's just have a quick look. So I'm going to do it in stages, like you've done before. So 9 minus 3 we do first. So it's 4 times 6 plus 32 divided by 4 minus 9. 
Four times six is twenty-four plus thirty-two divided by four minus twenty-four plus thirty-two is fifty-six divided by four minus nine. Fifty-six divided by four minus nine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show algebraically that that is what we have. We've done it with one number. We did it with n equals 9. Now that doesn't tell me it's going to work with every number. It tells me it works with 9. You tried it with 2, did you? We can try it with any number. But what we're going to do is we're going to show that it works with every number. And we're going to work with zero and one. No? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to do it algebraically. Now, this is a very important thing. So, let's do this. What we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves, can we simplify the expression? Can we simplify the expression? Are you going to write that down? So we've started off with, I'm just going to write it again, 4 times n minus 3 plus 32 divided by 4 and then subtract n. Now you now have all the skills you require to simplify that. All right? We just have to get into practice because it's one of the harder ones, right, from that other exercise. What do we need to deal with first? Well, we are going to... Good. Expand the brackets first. So I'm going to say that is four times n is four n. Right? N can be any number. We're going to leave it as n. Minus no. Four times three. Which is negative 12. Yeah. 4 times n, 4 times n. Yeah. And I've still got plus 32 divided by 4 minus n arguments. Now don't forget, this minus n is not divided by 4. This is very careful with how we write it. Yeah. Not, we need to be more careful than that. Yeah. Mine is definitely not above the line. Definitely set up. Be sure of that. What can we do now with that line here? Do it. I do so, what? So what can I simplify? Oh, you add them all together? Add what? Um, the, all the numbers on top of Go on then, tell me what should be. Uh, for n, uh, so you do... When you say your number was again, 9? No, we don't want to do it any 9. Oh, you multiply 4n. Four four then I don't need to simplify it by collecting like terms. What are the like terms? Just? Oh, it's going to be 12. 12 times plus 32. What does that simplify to? I've got negative 12 and I add 32. So it's going to be plus 20. It's cold here, right? So this bit, the top, becomes 4n plus 20, but we still have to divide by 4 and minus n. Okay? Now, we've got 4n's plus 20 split into 4 groups. What will each group be? 4n will be split into four groups of n. 20 split into four groups will be a class of 5. We've still got the minus n. Yeah? So we did the 4n plus 20 divided by 4 gives me the n plus 5. Can you all see that? Yeah? If I've got 4n's, and 20 
and I split that into five equal groups, there's going to be four groups of 1n and four groups of 5. five. Yeah? Well, now we've got n, whatever number it is, plus 5, minus n. Well, now I can simplify the n with minus n, and I'm left with oh, five. Plus, plus 5. So that tells me that it doesn't matter what n is. Exactly. So that first number doesn't matter. It will always end up being five, and that is the algebraic proof. Quite a high level thing. That is proof that that trick will always end up with five. Always. Well, yeah, but do you see how our algebraic skills, the way we are able to expand brackets, collect things together, divide out, simplify, do you see how being able to simplify that shows me that it will be plus five? Yeah? So all those skills that you've been practicing helps you explain, oh, that's not impressive, that's not a good trick, I can show you how frankly it's always fun. Yeah? That's why I'm doing So, let's just have a quick look at, do you see why I wanted you to help? Yeah, because you haven't got any room left if you'd be on the paper. But B, think of a number, add 21, double the result, then subtract 2, Double that again, add 20, divide by 4, subtract 20. You've got to write it all out and then think about how you're going to simplify it. And it will say you always end up with your original number back at the end. So let's do an algebraic proof that that is what happens. What is going to happen to your number? Why? Well, not x or n or. S or T. I wouldn't use S because people confuse decimals with fives. Use a number, a letter that doesn't look like a number. Don't use S's. Don't use O's. Yes, but that's why we don't use. You do it like multiplication in algebra. So I would always do a curly X, so it's not a long thing. That is why in algebra. We don't ever use the multiplication sign. So we don't get it. That's why we do it. Okay? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see this. Think of a number and 21. How would you write that? Think of a number for n plus 21. Now, here's the thing. People are saying, but what's the result of that? How do I know? Don't write it n plus 21 is the result of adding 21 to a number. What you've just been doing, right? That is the result. Then it says, double this result. So how do I double it? Well, I do brackets and double it. Okay? Right? Got that? Now, if we want, we could simplify already at this state. What would we get if we simplified that? Oh, 2n plus 42. Okay, so let's use this version instead. Got that? 2 times n, 2 times n. So we're now here. Then it says, subtract 2. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to subtract 2. What does that become? Simplify it. I'm going to simplify with those two. And it ends up being 2n plus 40. Okay? Then it says double this result again. So brackets and... Times two. How do we simplify that? Two times two is four, four, four x. 
in class eight. Okay. So it then says add twenty. So what do we do? Add twenty, and it becomes four n plus one hundred. Then it says divide this by four. So a line divide by four. What does that give me? Four ends divided by four gives me. How many ends? Four ends split into four groups. How many ends are in each group? One end plus 100 divided into four groups is 25. Didn't we say that? Some more than did. I had it. Oh, I didn't Sorry. Probably because too many people were talking at the same time and it blurs into one. Anyway, we've got n plus 25. Does that make sense so far? Yeah? Yeah? What have we got to do next? Um, so we've got n plus 25 and we need to subtract 25 and we end up with n, which is the number that I started with at the beginning. So we've shown algebraically that we simplified, we subtracted 2, we added 40, we doubled it again and simplified, we added 20, we divided by 4, we simplified. So in this case, we actually simplified along the way rather than wrote it all out in one go. How do you feel about that? Okay. Shall we have a go at writing it without simplifying it? On, on, yeah, let's, let's try it, okay? Let's do it together. All right, so it says, write a number. Add 21, so we add 21. We double the results, so we brackets times two. Then, Subtract 2, so we write minus 2. You don't write any today. No. Subtract 2, then we double the result. Now, this is where people say we can have two sets of brackets because bracket all of it good. times it by 2. Add 20, so we plus 20. Then we and then divide by 4, subtract 25. So that's what it would have looked like if we hadn't simplified as we were going. But we could, we could now simplify it in the same way. We simplify this, then subtract 2, then simplify that, then add 20. Get it? It's a high level thing, it's a hard level thing. Hopefully, you're all motivated to try and do this. But it's not always going to be, that's the point. Right. What's this going to equal? N. N. But we've already shown that, haven't we? It's going to equal N. And it always will. So if I put n equals 100 in there, what will it equal? Um, 100. 100, yeah. I don't need to do any working out because I've simplified it. So I don't have to do all that out, but I don't have to add 21 double it. I just know that if you put 100 in, 100 comes out. What does a million come out? A million goes in, it comes out. Right, you now have a go. I mean, hopefully you've... You're a bit more confident at it. So I'm going at the either set it all up or simplify as you go. Up to you. The idea is the answer is the answer. Like I said, you can do what we did at the beginning. You can show it worked with a number, but we want it to be worked with n. Okay. Let's just talk about it through again. 
If you start with n, guys, start with n and multiply. It says think of a number, add 8. You start with n plus 8. It said multiply by 6. So you have, and I see a lot of people do that, which is absolutely fine. But it is actually worth doing the 6n plus 48 and then working from that point. It's just that. Then it says add two. So if you add two, you end up with six n plus fifty. Then it says divide that by two. So divide that by two gives you three n plus twenty-five. It then says divide was it add two then divide by two add two again. So add two again gives you three n plus twenty-seven. Then it says divide by three, gives you n plus nine, and then it says subtract the original number. So you subtract n gives you nine. So close. Is that fine? Is that? But it's good. How do you feel about this? Bit of practice will be uh, will be lot. Stop.